everyone, this is Jeff with Living in Arizona and today we are going to talk about the mega region of the Sun Corridor that is projected for uh, Phoenix and Tucson to be a part of this thing called the Sun Corridor which is to be, you know, kind of more in motion by the time 2050 comes along. There are many mega regions across America. There's the Cascadia one which includes Seattle to Portland. There's the Southern California mega regions or corridors, right? Then there's mega region corridors in the Great Lakes region that include Cleveland, Chicago, uh, Indianapolis. And so we're gonna talk about this mega region, what that means for you if you're moving to Arizona, or if you already live in Arizona, you're gonna wanna know about this mega region. So let's go ahead and dial this in. But before we do, there is a group that we have been building here and you can see there is a lot of action. If you need a forum to keep up on things related to living in Arizona, asking questions like, uh, how, how much will it cost to keep my home cool in those months? People commenting. Thanks to Michelle for asking the question. You can see Bruce Hogue, Sasha Dakasha, many people participating in this group. You can join this group. We're going to put a link below in the citation and in the comments. You can join this group and uh, ask questions in fire away and let's do this. All right, also you can keep up with us on Instagram. I just wanted to show you guys. This is happening here in Arizona. Look at this. Okay, I was obviously cooking lamb, but this is what I wanted to show you. Look at this. Toto, this isn't Kansas anymore. <laughs> you see that? Looks like some... Toto, this ain't Kansas anymore. Right. So the reason I wanted to show you that on Instagram is because, yeah, that's like those microbursts. People were saying, is there a haboob involved in that? Anyways, let's go ahead and dial this in and talk about this sun corridor in Arizona. So... This Sun Corridor, Arizona Sun Corridor, you could see it extends all the way up to Phoenix and it extends all the way down to uh, Tucson and maybe even Sierra Vista down into Mexico, Nogales, right? So this Sun Corridor, let's read what it says right here on Air America 2050. The Sun Corridor is equivalent to the size of, to Indiana in size and population, but will add another Indiana's worth of residents by 2040. So they're saying take the population of Indiana and double it by 2040. Located in a desert environment, Phoenix and Tucson, the mega region's biggest metropolitan regions, have insulated water conservation requirements and are promoting the use of desert landscaping. These efforts provide the two metros with enough water for perhaps up to 20 million people, preparing the Sun Corridor for current and future growth. So Phoenix, Tucson, population growth or population 2010, 5.6 million percent of U.S. population is 2%. Population by 2025, 7.7, 7. 2050, 12.3 million. Okay, so if you're one of those types of people who want to move to Arizona but don't like this idea of living in a mega region or a metropolis, megatropolis as some call it, then you're going to have to consider other areas like, uh, I think even Prescott's involved in the Sun Corridor. So you would consider areas like maybe Eastern Arizona, like Sholo, or uh, if you want the desert, maybe Yuma or... Gila Bend, I don't know, Gila Bend's not really on the map, Lake Havasu City. But this whole idea of if you're moving to any of these suburbs in the Phoenix metro area, from Phoenix to Sierra Vista or Tucson, get ready because they're telling you right now, the growth is gonna come. So yeah, sure, there are pockets of suburbs that are out of the, out of the main corridor, that I-10 region. Because I-10, if you're anywhere around the I-10 uh, from Phoenix to Tucson, get ready because Picacho Peak, Casa Grande, Boom, here comes the here comes the development. I've even seen this out here in the last 20 years where Santan Valley, Florence, that was considered like a whole nother area, another county and everything, and Phoenix Metro is swallowing it up right now. So it is coming and it's, uh, you know, people who, who, who can pretend like they didn't know or they weren't told, I'm saying like, hey, you're being told right now, the Sun Corridor, it's right here on this website, America 2050. And just so you know, there are these uh, mega regions across America that uh, also exist, and I, like I was telling you, so Northern California, that whole area from Sacramento, the Bay Area, Oakland, uh, San Jose, San Francisco, all the way even down into Fresno and all that, Gilroy, that's called a mega region in Northern California. You can obviously see Southern California, basically from Santa Barbara all the way down to San Diego. I mean, you could even include all the stuff going on in Mexico on the Baja with Tijuana, Ensenada, and Rosarito. And then you have the, four, the, the Font region, which is in the Rockies, which extends basically down from Denver to Albuquerque, okay? And you have the Texas Triangle, which is Houston, uh, San Antonio, Dallas, Fort Worth, and that's a mega region. And then even Oklahoma's getting in on the mix with the Oklahoma City. Is that Oklahoma? Yeah, that's Oklahoma. 
I don't know what they're calling that. I guess that's part of the Texas Triangle. Then the Great Lakes, we already mentioned that. That's all of those cities around the Great Lakes region. And then you have the Gulf Coast, which also includes Houston and all the way to New Orleans down to, uh, you know, to Gulf Port, all the way down to, uh, what is that, Brownsville down there and Corpus Christi and Galveston. And then you have the Northeast, which is the biggest one, I would say, which is Boston, New York, Providence, uh, Philly, Washington, D.C., Baltimore. And then Florida has a mega region, Orlando and Miami. And then there's the one in the Piedmont Atlantic, which is basically, I think that includes most of North Carolina from Charlotte all the way down to Raleigh. And then into, uh, yeah, that includes, it looks like Nashville, Memphis, and uh, Birmingham, Alabama. So you guys can see this is, this is being planned. That's why there's a population boom happening in the United States where, you know, yeah, you guys might be championing Trump right now and he might be your president who's securing the borders, but basically he's laying the infrastructure for a filtered immigration system because they're going to be bringing in immigrants. Immigrants are going to be coming to the United States. Immigrants have always come to the United States. If you flash back all the way to the Pilgrims on down to Staten Island, they're just going to be bringing in uh, immigrants. And the thing that Trump's trying to do is secure the borders so that when they do start inviting people in, it's the people they're approving to get in. So a lot of people hate Trump, but they love Trump, and then they don't realize that what Trump's essentially working on is for the greater good. And it's not even to say that we're not going to uh, swell up our population because they're going to be bringing in immigrants. It's just, it's going to be done in a systematic way. You can't just illegally come through the border just by walking across the border, running across or crossing the Rio Grande, going at scuba style and then emerging on the other side of the border. It's They're saying like, we need the wall so that when we do do it, we know who's here. And this is just part of the, the nature of the 21st century, 22nd century, whatever you want to call it. It's happening. Welcome to the new millennium, guys. And so we can't really stop it because uh, God's putting people, <laughs> babies in people's bellies all the time. I mean, uh, it would take an act of God to literally stop the population boom of planet Earth because it's happening. If anything, we should be saying, hey, good job, Jeff Bezos. Good job, Elon Musk. Keep building Blue Origin. Keep building SpaceX. Because it looks like the human species might be expanding into different planets. Now, some of you guys are like, oh, God, don't even talk to me about that. <laughs> hey, and I, I, I mean, I don't shoot the messenger. I'm the guy who's telling you about this. But I'm saying, yes, Arizona Sun Corridor here is a real thing. It is happening. And it's one of the mega regions in the United States. And this whole uh, Phoenix to Tucson thing is definitely happening. So if you're in its way and you start seeing that housing booms are occurring all around you, Welcome to Arizona. This has been going on for years now. Arizona's population went from 500,000 to 1.5, I mean, a million to 7 million now. It just keeps growing and it's happening all across the country. So you can go on this website, suncorridor.inc. They got the data, they got the industry, they got the talent. Where does this put, it, put you if you're looking for jobs of the future? Because some of you guys might be coal miners who are saying, well, hey, they're not hiring coal miners anymore. Well, if you want to work in energy, you better go to clean energy, you know, solar voltaic, geothermal. A wind you know these are the things that are happening even biodiesels I mean I don't like I said I don't make the rules and that's what's really interesting about this all is the way that these people who are these urban planners and these creators think outside the box it's really fun actually um, so <laughs> only reason I say that is because I know that people are going to say whoa man this is a lot of growth I don't know if I want it and so my advice to you is if you don't want to be caught up in the middle of the, the hurricane or the middle of the tornado alley, uh, you can consider other places. And I can make a video specific to those places where they're going to be safe havens where you can move to be out of the mix of it all. Because if you're anything like me, you want to be kind of out of the mix at times, but then sometimes you want to be in the mix. Like me, I've had times in my life where I wanted to go off grid and live in Hawaii, and then I've had times where I wanted to be right in the heart of the middle of the city. And uh, urban sprawl kind of makes city living kind of weird because you're still in a city, but you have to go very far to get anywhere. Like if I wanted to go to the Diamondbacks game or anything, it's not like living in Singapore where in Singapore you can literally catch a train uh, or, or just in 15 minutes you can be right in the heart of it all while you're still in the, ma the main city, right? Hong Kong does the same thing and Tokyo and all that. So... These mega regions, very interesting. I wanted to share this with you. Uh, I realize some of you guys are going to be overwhelmed by this. I realize some of you are going to be really excited about it. Remember, we already made a video on this channel about the 
Bill Gates Smart City, Belmont that's being built in the West Valley. That is part of the innovations that are coming for the future. Whether it be in your lifetime or my lifetime, we don't know if we're going to fully realize the whole IoT thing. If you guys want, I could talk about that. I don't know if it's Phoenix, Arizona related, but IoT is the Internet of Things. That's that smart home technology where basically everything wirelessly connects and communicates to each other through like your refrigerator. You Hey, refrigerator, uh, cool down, blah, blah, blah. Hey, uh, hey, Google, turn on climate control to 70 degrees, right? You know, something like that. Or, hey, Google, turn off my office. You know, this kind of stuff. Or even Alexa, right? Uh, look, at I even communicated with him. He responded. So that's IoT is where you basically got a smart car, smart home, smart city, smart uh, appliances. You know, it's a whole big thing. But it's coming. Just like the people who said that, when, remember when uh, Steve Jobs went on to um, Good Morning America in 2004 and said, everyone is going to be carrying a computer in their pocket. And, pe and some people were like, yeah, right. How am I going to take this big computer off my desk and put it in my pocket? Not even possible. Here it is, guys. It's the computer in your pocket. So when they're telling you that um, IoT is coming where everything's going to be smart, uh, it's real. And this su super corridor is a smart region, smart city region. So it's really interesting. Embrace it, I would say, because you can't change it, you can't stop it. And the only one who can is an omnipresence way above us that uh, we don't even know what he or she is thinking, right? So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. We will see you guys next time. Thanks to everyone who's been liking this video, subscribing to this channel, and hanging out with us in that forum on Facebook. We will see you guys next time.